Hey YouTube and my fellow eBay sellers, it's Robert back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can quickly, easily, and inexpensively ship shoes. So there's a couple reasons I decided to shoot this video. One, I've noticed a lot of views and comments on some of my other shoe related videos for eBay. And I hadn't gone into a real quick and easy discussion on shipping the shoes, but I've also noticed that some of the YouTube videos that are out there spend a lot more time than they need to on shipping them. And it really should be very straightforward. We only need a few things. The good news is most of the items that we're gonna need for shipping shoes are very inexpensive or free. So the first thing that we're gonna need and I'm gonna encourage you to have it so that you can start saving money on your shipping costs right away is a digital shipping scale. Now I'm gonna have a link down below on Amazon for this exact scale that I use. It's one of their most popular items and it works really great for everything that I sell. But shoes specifically, this works really nicely for. The second thing that we're gonna need is the actual shoe box, which we're gonna go over a couple different ways that we can ship depending on what type of shoe. But the good news is both options that we're gonna look at are free through USPS. So the first one here, guys, is gonna be this USPS shoe box. I've got one here that's already, uh, you know, kind of constructed. It starts out basically just looking like this, and uh, it's not a flat rate box. So it is really important that we have that scale and we know exactly what the weight of those shoes is because you wanna make sure that you put that accurately in your eBay listing for when you go to sell it and you don't accidentally sell it with a two pound item for your shipping costs when in reality that shoe is two and a half pounds because now it's gonna bump it up to three and it's gonna cost you more. So 90% of the shoes that we are going to ship will work in this box. Now there's gonna be some boots, maybe high tops, uh, where the shoe's kind of long in two directions that this may not work ideally for and you may need to get a larger box for some of those, but this is gonna work for the, the vast majority. Now our other option for some of our smaller shoes, especially like women's flats, is gonna be the padded flat rate envelope. If you have a shoe that you can ship in this envelope, this is going to be the cheapest option for you because it's just a flat rate. So regardless of what the shoe weighs, this, as long as it can fit in here, it's one price. One thing to note, I like to use this a lot when I'm shipping lower cost shoes. I'm not as much of a fan of using this when I'm shipping, shipping higher end shoes like Salvatore Ferragamos or Pradas, some of the women's ballets, I've sold a pair of Chanel's. And I just, if you're sh uh, selling a shoe that's that much more expensive, I think it looks kind of tacky to send it in this flat rate padded envelope. I'd rather just put it in a shoe box where I can protect it a little bit more and make sure that that customer is happy. And when I say protect it a little bit more, I don't mean you need to do all that much more. That's gonna bring us to our next item. All right, when it comes to putting the shoes into a box, you don't wanna just drop the shoe into the box without protecting it a little bit more because you don't know where that box is gonna end up. And if it ends up on somebody's porch and they don't get home until later on and it's been raining and those shoes get wet, you're gonna have a really upset buyer. So you wanna put them in something that's gonna protect them from any kind of elements. And that's where these poly mailers come in handy. So basically I just take my shoes, could be any of your typical dress shoes. I'm gonna throw them into my poly mailer, seal that up, and then I'm gonna drop it down into my shoe box. So I literally just take it, drop it in. Yes, it might move around a little bit. I've shipped a bunch of shoes this way and I've never had anybody that's been upset or made any kind of comment about the shoes condition upon arrival. So this is just, again, it's really quick and easy. Don't overthink it. Um, again, if you're dealing with really high-end shoes, you may wanna go through a little bit more protection and bubble wrap it, but I haven't found that to be a necessary expense, even on shoes that I've sold that were as high as almost $400. And then that flat rate padded envelope, we just take our smaller sandals, flats, shoes like that that we can just throw in there, seal it up, call it a day. I don't even put an additional poly mailer around it. Now those poly mailers, you can also get basically for free as well if you have an eBay store because you have a $50 coupon that you get once every quarter that's perfect for getting branded eBay poly mailers and bubble mailers. So I find as a part-time seller, 
I can't go through that uh, inventory quick enough for me to have to ever spend money on my own because those $50 coupons have always been renewed just when I was starting to need some and I'm replenished again for free. So it's a great way to recoup some of the expense of actually having your eBay store. That's one of those perks that you wanna make sure you're taking advantage of. And for those of you that are just getting started, it's a great way for you to start building up your positive feedback on any items that you do need to buy like poly mailers or bubble mailers through those sellers because even with that $50 coupon, those sellers that sell them to you will leave you a positive feedback and that reflects positively on you even as a seller because for those people that are looking at your overall feedback score, they're generally not seeing if those are feedback for strictly a seller or a buyer. So any way that you can start to build that feedback up in general is gonna help give you a little bit of a kickstart and kind of build that reputation for yourself. So once we've got our box and our shoes are in it, we drop it on the scale, we figure out the weight. Ideally, you've got a computer and printer at home so that you can actually enter all of that and pre-print your labels because you're gonna save money on shipping by doing it through eBay. So what you wanna do is get yourself some of these uh, stick-on label um, papers. So you could pick these up really easy. I'll put some links down below for those as well. But that's just about all that you need. Now I do ship some boots and some high tops, occasionally items that don't fit in the USPS box. So if I have something that I can't utilize in one of those other two, then I might get something like this where I have a 12 by 10 by eight uh, inch cardboard box. And I find that this, it's a little bit more square. So where you have items like boots and things that um, they're kind of long down the foot as well as going up the calf a little bit. That squared format has worked for virtually every other need um, that I've had in terms of shoes. So again, this is an eBay branded one. I use my eBay coupon. You can also get these on Amazon, um, but I like to buy those um, eBay branded items that I can ship whenever possible using that coupon. Um, and then it just looks a little bit more professional for you guys. So there it is guys, it's super easy to ship shoes. Go to usps.com, which I'll link below, and you can get both of the shoe box as well as the padded flat rate envelope for free, and you can even get them delivered to you for free. But I find when I go into the USPS stores to send items off now, they know me well enough, they know what I like to use, and generally they offer, they'll know what they have back there, and they'll just bring some out to me. So I'm never in a jam, I've always got access to those, and it's really, really easy to do. You just wanna make sure that you are accurate with the weight of your shoes when you're not shipping something in that flat rate padded envelope because if you're wrong it could cost you a few dollars and you could actually lose a little bit of money on your shipping that's completely unnecessary for you hope you guys found this video helpful if you did like this video make sure to hit that like button for me comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future if you subscribe and you have something you'd like to see also leave that down in the comment because i do look at those and i'll use those for a lot of ideas when creating new videos also, I started a second channel more related to my actual business in remodeling. So for those of you guys that are into remodeling and home improvement, definitely go check that uh, page out for me and subscribe to it as well. I appreciate your guys' support more than I can possibly say. And I will also put the link to that channel down below in the description, along with some Amazon affiliate links to some of the items that I talked about today. So if you guys do buy anything using those links, uh, I get just a super small commission from Amazon on it. Just helps me out a little bit if you need any of those things. Again, if not, no big deal. I'm just here to try and help you guys and give you some good information. So until next time, happy selling and have a great day.